Hello everybody, my name is Lukey Boy BFC and welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today is June 16th, so that means it's Premier League fixture release day. We did this exact same video last year, so if you watched that, we already know what we're going to do. I'm going in blind. I'm at, uh, it's 10.50 currently, so I'm uh, about an hour and 50 late, but I have no clue. I've just been doing an exam at school, so I have no clue what the fixtures are. I wasn't there when they were announced. I have no clue what these fixtures are going to be. I've seen leaks, there's loads of been leaks have been going around this season. But I'm not going to believe them until I see the real thing. So without further ado, if you guys are going to enjoy this, like, subscribe, hit the bell. You're notified when new vlogs come out for this season. Because I'm sure this, this season is going to be as exciting and action-packed as the one last season. But yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into it. Currently leading up Google Chrome on my web browser. I'm going to do what I did last year and go on to the uh, Brentford uh, website. And I'm just... I mean, they're probably going to appear there straight away. So... But, oh no, that's... That's not Brentford, that's a uh, German PC engine manufacturer. Okay, that, um, I don't, www.brentford, I don't know, what did we do, Brentford Football Club? You know what, we're just going to search up Brentford and just, yeah, we've done, <laughs> great start to the video, getting onto a, uh, a German, Okay, fixtures and results. So if we go on to the fixtures, 2023 preseason friendlies, all competitions, first team, all competitions. Is it here? No, it's not here. First team. I guess if we go to all news. There we go, we've got the fixture list here. Right, okay. Okay, we got it. So, we're starting off with August. The season does actually start a... Um, a week earlier this season because of the Winter World Cup in the Qatar. So I think, believe, believe through November and December, there will be lesser fixtures and also there's more midweek games. So let's get straight into it. So Saturday, 6th of August, is Leicester City away. So an away game to start the season. Wasn't a big fan of the King Power when we went there. Hopefully the atmosphere and everything's a lot better. But the sausage rolls they do in the away end are very, very nice. I know they do them, I think, around the entire ground. Well. And then Saturday, 13th of August, is Manchester United at home. And then Saturday, 20th of August, is Fulham away. Oh my God, Yes. Fulham away is the second away game of the season, third game of the season. That's a grand. I have never done Craven Cottage, if you guys know or do not know. I was going to do it for the first time, and then uh, about six hours before kickoff, coronavirus happened. They shut down all football and everything. So I'm finally going to be able to get there. Uh, 27th of August on a Saturday is Everton at home. Tuesday, 30th of August, Palace away. Probably will do that at Selhurst Park. Wasn't a big fan of the away in there because of the restriction views. Just horrible. And Saturday, 3rd of September, Leeds United at home. Saturday, 10th of September, Southampton away. I don't know if I'll do Southampton away, I'm not sure. Uh, then Saturday, 17th of September, Arsenal at home. Saturday, 1st of October, Bournemouth away as a ground I have done ages ago. Uh, Saturday, 8th of October, Newcastle away. Not sure if I'm going to be doing Newcastle this season. It's such a long way to go up. Uh, we might do it, I, I'm not sure. We will be, obviously, I go with my dad. I always go with whatever my dad says for games. I'm not sure if we'll be able to go to every single game or as many as we did last season I'd love to but I'm not sure it will happen this season Saturday 15th of October Brighton at home and then Tuesday the 18th of October Chelsea at home Saturday 22nd of October Aston Villa away probably will do that Love Villa Park Saturday 29th of October Wolves at home Saturday 5th of November Forest away really want to do that game as well thank god it's on a Saturday hopefully it doesn't get moved uh, Saturday 12th of November Man City away Probably will do that one as well. Monday 26th of December, so Boxing Day. Tottenham at home, that's a good one. Uh, Saturday 31st of December away. Sorry, Saturday 31st of December is West Ham and United away. I will probably do that. Uh, Monday the 2nd of January is Liverpool at home. And then we've got the FA Cup break. We don't know what that was going to be. I want to know till I think, probably November, December-ish time. And then Saturday 14th of January is Bournemouth at home. Saturday 21st of January, Leeds away. Haven't done on the road, love to go there. Saturday 4th of February, Southampton at home. Saturday 11th of February, Arsenal away. Probably will do that one. Uh, Saturday 18th of February, Crystal Palace at home. Uh, 25th of February on a Saturday, Manchester United away. Probably will do that one. Saturday 4th of March, Fulham at home. Saturday 11th of March, Everton away. Would love to go to Goodison Park again. Been there twice last season. Absolutely loved it there. Saturday 18th of March, Leicester City at... Uh, sorry, not away. Uh, home. <laughs> Saturday 1st of April, Brighton at away, probably will do that one. Uh, Saturday 8th of April, Newcastle at home. Saturday 15th of April, Wolves away, want to do that one, never done Molyneux. Saturday 22nd of April, Villa at home. Wednesday 26th of April, Chelsea away, so that's a midweek game. 
I didn't oh, I didn't do Chelsea away last season, as you guys could tell. And surely there would have been a vlog if I did go absolutely go to miss out on that game last season. Hopefully we could go do it all again next season. Uh, Saturday 29th of April, Forest at home. Saturday 6th of May, Liverpool away. Saturday 13th of May, West Ham at home. Saturday 20th of May, Tottenham away. And the last fixture, Sunday 28th of May, Manchester City at home. Obviously, all, the, all of them games are subject to change due to Champions League, Europa League, Europa Conference League, FA Cup, League Cup, everything. They're all subject to change, and obviously Sky Broadcast as well. The only one that I don't think can change is Man City at home uh, for the last game of the season, because all the games have to be played on the same day, at the, on the last day of the season at the same time. But yeah, I'm... I'm very... Uh, I say I'm happy with the first six. Our first six... Oh, hang on, let me actually drag six. Our first six are... Sa uh, Leicester away, Man United at home, Fulham away, yes, Everton at home, Palace away, Leeds at home. I reckon that I don't, I don't think we'll win at Leicester. I might be able to beat Man United. I'm not sure though, because I reckon start of the season going to be. I think they're going to be blistering at the start of the season. Uh, Fulham, please beat them. Honestly, Everton we could probably beat them. Palace probably, Leeds probably. So that's not the toughest of starts. We've got Leicester and Man United the first two games, which is difficult. Uh, Fulham will be difficult. Everton, uh, they might be good this this season. I'm not sure. I'm I'm happy with it. Forest away is another big one. I've got a friend who over lives over in Australia that supports Forest. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to meet up with him in that game if he does go to that one. Uh, Man City at home. The last four games are so difficult. Liverpool away, West Ham at home, Spurs away, Man City at home. That's so so difficult. But yeah, I'd um I'd say I'm. I'm satisfied. I'm happy with those fixtures. Obviously, everything's subject to change. I won't be doing every single game this season. I didn't do every game last season. I'm hoping to still obviously do as much as I can do. So if you guys want to look out for those, hit the subscribe button and the bell as well so you're notified when they all come out. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.